Hello, welcome back to Point to Play Games for some more Whispers of a Machine. Last time we were around, we made a good discovery, being that Katrina matches the picture of one of the teachers at the school. We then ended up finding our way eventually over to the junk heap with these two children, who definitely seem to know something, though we're not exactly sure what. So, after obviously there being this long break and thinking about it, we have obviously amnesia available to us, and I think what we need to do, because it, if I remember right, Allie? it seemed like Allie, or Alicia, mm. which is her name, was Not willing really. to talk, but Theo, who's the boy, is the one who stopped her, so maybe, like, I, maybe we need to use amnesia on him specifically. Before we were kind of just using it in general, but let's give this a shot. I could, but I'm not sure why I'd want to make him forget anything. See, again, I just don't understand. I've got some more questions for you two. Okay. Fine. I think we're just gonna have to You see, I feel like we asked everything. Do I have to do Come this? Come on, again? Alicia. I think you know where to find Miss M. I don't know. We told you already. We don't know. Again, I really feel like he's the driving force, so That's I'm trying to. Hate, kids. Okay, bye. See ya. Figure Allie? out. Feeling rusty yet? Mm. Why he? Not really. I could, but I'm not sure why I want to make him forget anything. Hmm. Um, oh, you know what? I just realized we haven't been using our thing. I've got some more questions for you two. Okay. Fine. Come on, Alicia. I think you know where to find Miss M. I don't know. We told you already. We don't know. I think you know more. There we go. Now would be the time to tell me before you get into trouble. There's nothing to say, lady. But Theo... Alicia, chill. We haven't done anything wrong. I guess. Cool. You know what happened? I totally forgot about the way that this worked. This biometric analyzer. I forgot that it will have a... Um... Sort of like a... Like that place, that spot that's an anomaly. That's all I need, kids. Okay, bye! But yeah. now... We seem to have the reason, I think, to use amnesia. Theo, look at me for a moment. Huh? What? I feel funny. Theo? You okay? Yeah, I just... We... What are we doing again? Uh, just hanging out? You're being super weird. Huh? Whatever. Nice. So that, I, that he doesn't remember, I think we should I've be got able some to more talk questions to her. For you two. Okay, fine. Oh yeah, see, it's now no longer crossed out too. Come on, Alicia. I think you know where to find Miss M. I don't know. Yes, you do. I have ways of knowing when a person is lying. Uh, Theo? I... What? Look at me, Alicia, not him. I'm not leaving until you tell me the truth. What? Who? Um, on the other side of this tunnel, there's an old fridge with a secret switch on the bottom. Miss M goes through there sometimes. Thanks. You've been very helpful. Wait, what? Why would you tell her that? But I'll let you guys uh, talk this out. Awesome. There we go. So, now we have the answer that we've been looking for at long last. That took seemingly forever to get. But now... Oh, there's some kind of switch under here. There we go. Okay, then. Can't get too close. That's... Oops. Okay. So, now we have an electrified fence. 
I don't think we have any way to deal with it, per se. So... I guess let's go talk to Walter, maybe? He's, he's a, uh, interesting guy about that type of stuff. He, he's an electro, electro, ele electronics, or like, sort of like a, that type of guru. So we might as well go talk to him. Also, we really just need to keep the biometric analyzer just on in general. Hi again. Hey there. What can I do you for? Hey, do you know your way around electronics? No way! He just happened to accidentally construct a store filled with robots. Let me guess, you flunked deduction 101? <clears throat> Don't mind him. Yes, I do know a thing or two about that. Well, great. I need you to come with me to disconnect the power to a thing. A trap. Oh, uh... I'd love to help, but I can't leave this store like this. Got an important customer today. Why don't you check with Lisa over by the museum? She can probably help you out. The woman who was fixing that broken power pole? Yeah, that's her. All right, thanks. Awesome. I'm off. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye, police lady. This feels like the most productive we've been in two episodes. This is fantastic. Alright, so we'll head to where Lisa is, and Lisa will hopefully help us. Hey, there's an electrified fence in the junk heap. Can you help disconnect it? I'd love to, but I need to repair this breaker box here first. Okay, but how long will that take? Hard to say. Um, well, I mean, I guess there's only one thing to do. Huh. Wait a minute. What the heck am I doing out here? Uh, I better go back to the workshop and figure something out. Hmm. Maybe just a quick break first. Awesome. Hey, there's an electrified fence in the junk heap. Can you help disconnect it? I suppose I have nothing better to do. Lead the way. Cool. I mean, we've only just potentially caused an... The system is kind of cranky, so I'll only be able to cut the power briefly. Wait for a window and then do your business, but don't take too long or the power will come back on. Got it. I'll go check it out and let you know when I'm done. Okay. Good luck. Nice. Electric fence dealt with. So now we just need to make our way through. Hopefully something that we have will be helpful in doing that. Uh. Nice. All right, we are one step closer. So we have a door. So as always, turn on our analyzer. Or let's let's just check the area. I figured why not? Doesn't really hurt, right? All right. Well, I mean, I guess the only move. That Don't move. Oh. Wait, you're that city cop. Fuck, I was expecting... Ugh. Today is not your day, sister. I'm sorry. I can't let you leave. Ugh. All this better be worth what it. The f what the... Okay. Unexpected. Extremely unexpected, really. Uh, I mean, well then. 
I really can't do anything. Don't. Oh, wait, you're that city cop. Fuck, I was. I can turn this on and start talking. Oh. You're desperate, is it because of the baby I can help? Oh, easy, I just want to talk. Whoa, whoa, easy. I just want to talk. <laughs> That's what they all say. Right before they stab you in the back. Our highly illegal womb tank is the only thing keeping him alive. And you're from the Bureau. We both know what you're going to have to do. I'll do only what is necessary where that line is drawn is entirely up to you, but it's not looking good. You seem quite sure that of what I would do or would not do. Perhaps things are a little less clear than you in a cut than you think. If you help me find the killer, I'll overlook it. Alright, I mean I think we're all in middle in right here. You seem quite sure of what I would or would not do. Perhaps things are less clear cut than you think. I'm seeing clearly. All you're doing is trying to confuse me. I'm sorry. I can't let you leave. No. Well, we're dead again. All this better be worth it. Okay, so I, I mean, my my guess is that there's right ways to answer and wrong ways to answer. Um, and we answered right the first way and wrong the second way, or the second time rather. So I mean, here we go again. Don't move. Oh. We're gonna be quick, otherwise she'll just shoot right us for now. the sake of it. All right, let's try this again. Oops, God, that's bad. I'm gonna get I shot. Help. help me. How exactly? Our highly illegal wound tank is the only thing keeping him alive. And you're from the bureau. We both know. We didn't get shot right away. That's great. Um, I'll boom. do only what's necessary. Where that line is drawn is entirely up to you, but it's not looking good. Yep. Maybe I should draw the line right here. You're just stalling. The killer is still out there and I... I have to stop him from hurting my... our... Finding the murderer is my job, but if you don't cooperate, I can't protect. I know how you feel. You don't have to do this alone, Katrina. We both want to catch Carl's killer. We're, pa we're past the stalling. That gunshot was allowed. The cops will be here any moment. Um, Finding the murderer is my job, but if you don't cooperate, I can't protect you. <laughs> right. You're just doing your fucking job. But I must say, I admire your ability to stay collected in the face of death. Making things worth for you and your son, collected or not, staring down a battle in the West. It's not either that, or I don't consider you as large a threat as you may think. Um. Surely you see that behaving like this is only making things worse for you and your son? Maybe, but it doesn't matter. As soon as I take my guard down, you'll shoot me without batting an eye. More formidable than you think. If I wanted to shoot you, you'd already be... I'm sorry if you've been mistreated by cops before, but I'm not like that. I won't. Your little family has suffered enough. It makes you feel safer. You can keep your gun, okay? Um... Ooh, okay. I won't. Your little family has suffered enough. If it makes you feel safer, you can keep your gun, okay? You better believe I'm keeping my gun. Okay, that's fine. We don't have to go to the station. Let's just sit down and talk about this. I must be the most stupid, naive woman in the world. You won't regret this, Katarina. Okay. Well. So, you believe that the killer is after you now? I know he is. He got Maya and Carl. I'm next, obviously. Let's not forget Leonard Dahl. He was butchered this morning. Leonard? The recycling guy? Oh, Jesus, I had no idea. That, that's odd. Odd how? Because, actually, I have to give you the whole story for it to make sense. Carl and I wanted a child, but I, I can't. I have viable eggs, but there are other complications. I can relate. Me and my partner, well, something similar happens to us. I understand your desperation. You took a calculated risk, and it had dire consequences. My condolences. The rotten lick doesn't mean you can break the law. Life isn't fair. I mean, I'm just, look, we're, uh, we, we've been empathetic this whole time. 
and she still has a gun. So let's be, <laughs> let's let's continue down that path. I can relate. Me and my partner. Well, something similar happened to us. Then you can grasp our situation better than anyone. So anyway, we came into contact with a woman called Maya Strand who claimed that she could help us have a baby. She built a replica of an old womb tank. Forbidden technology, of course. I see. And what did she want in return? Our help with some of her other shady experiments. The lady was somewhat frail. She couldn't handle much heavy labor. She eventually revealed that she was a self-proclaimed member of the Conduit. Probably figured we had too much to lose to turn her in. She was right. Yes, I found the Conduit connection. Playing with fire. Yeah, so Carl and I decided to play along until after the birth and then escape Nordsend as a family. So you merely pretended to sympathize with conduit beliefs, and then Maya was murdered. Yes, Epos did it, I'm sure. Those assholes must have found out. Epos? That rings a bell. Earth Preservation Orthodox Society. Anti-tech group. You must have heard of them over at the Bureau. Used to be terrorist classified. Oh, yeah. I remember. So, they have a church here in Nordsund? Yep. Near the old mall in Northtown. Big place. They get visitors from all over. So you think Epos fanatics are picking you off one by one? Do they know about the child? Why do you believe Epos is responsible for the murder? Um... We should be as broad as possible. Why do you believe Epos is responsible for the murders? Who else? There's only one group still violently opposing the conduit, and that is Epos. There's a hole in this murder theory, though. Leonard Dahl. Oh, yeah. No idea how that guy fits into all this. Could be unrelated. Unrelated is probable, given the historically low... Well, that's very analytical, so you didn't know Leonard at all. He was a member of a group. Perhaps Leonard was Epos, and you killed him to avenge your friends. Um... That's a fair question, but we're gonna go right here, right down the middle. So you didn't know Leonard at all? He wasn't a member of your group? Not as far as I know, but Maya kept us on a need-to-know basis. It's possible that she worked with him in some way. If all of this is true, why did you take a new name when you came to Nordsund? It's a long story, but I left a life that was pretty ugly. I had to escape an abusive boyfriend. I needed a fresh start here in Nordsund. <laughs> The nickname thing just happened. It fell natural and then, well, I guess it stuck. That doesn't explain why your relationship with Carl was kept a secret, though. Carl and I happened really fast. It wasn't so much intentionally kept a secret, it just never became a public thing. When we started collaborating with Maya, we obviously had all the more reason to keep things quiet. Hmm. Well, I'm going to give all of this some thought and report to my superior. I'll be back later if I come up with more questions. Okay, before you go, just the womb tank. The nutrients must be running low by now. Without replenishment, he could be hurt. Even die. You don't need to worry. I replaced the canister today. The baby was fine. You have no idea how much that means to me. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, well, I mean, this took a very, very interesting turn. Um, we could probably continue asking her questions. Um, you know, just a quick scan around the area. Looks like there isn't too much going on here. Uh, but, for now, unfortunately, we're pretty much out of time. So, thank you very much for joining me once again at Point to Play Games, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.